Today in the livestock market, we saw green across the board with cat, live cattle just surged higher. Those better export sales and increased slaughter pace just helped the market really uh, bounce back and recovering all of this week's losses and then some. I think moving to the high side of the channel that it's been in uh, for the past uh, number of days uh, didn't quite you know, reach that 138 mark, but still it's uh, looking much stronger. Today, it has a, just a solid turnaround and a big support day for that live cattle market. Seaval is at 14.8%, so that seems to be pretty good here. Now, the feeders did firm up as well. Those falling corn prices did give futures a lift. Uh, rising more than $2.50 is a really a breath of fresh air for the traders now uh, going into this uh, 4th of July holiday. That major technical support of 170 really held in a big way. Uh, the market is really up $5.50 from Wednesday's low. Uh, that really is showing some uh, major strength and some uh, uh, certainly uh, hopeful that the, the bottom is in, but we'll see. Feedlots will have a lot more confidence come next week, so that's just something to watch for. The hogs did may have had a rebound as well. Strong cutouts plus good export sales really helped the futures to recover from the hangover it's been experiencing as of late. A $4 bounce off the $1 major support level uh, really has been helpful to the market, and we're back into that $10 channel of 101 to 111 that we've been in since May 1st. So that's something to watch for. The CVAL has been down just a half a percent to 28.6%, uh, but that's been the lowest it's been in quite a while. The market seems to be po uh, poised for uh, uh, a reset, you know, after the 4th of July market. So let's see what happens on Tuesday if we can uh, really start to build on uh, some of the good things that happened today in livestock.